did a little bit of shaping on this pine here. These branches, this one was actually growing up behind this way. These were twisting. Pines are really flexible, so I just kind of bent it out of the way, shaped it, you know, pointed it going that way. I like this branch, it's splitting already. That'll be, you know, maybe I'll cut it off eventually or shorten it. I mean, I'll definitely shorten it at some point, but right now I want to let everything grow. Let the tree get strong. You can see it had three prior, it had three prior leaders in here that all died off or got chewed off at some point. You can see them there. That's the main leader, it's pretty straight. It's got two buds on it, strong ones. Let it grow, cut it back in the future. This apricot tree, all the flowers, the petals have fallen off. I don't know, hopefully this means they got pollinated and they'll form some fruit this year. Pear tree is the flowers are coming out now. Starting to look real awesome. Huh. One of them's opened up. Nice. This tree is very different than the apricots. The leaves and the flowers are coming out at the same time. There's the apricot. These flowers have been out for weeks. They're all coming off now, you can see. They're just really weak. They were coming off in the rain and the wind the last couple days. And then the leaves have only just started opening up now. It looks really cool this time of year. This is one of my new favorite trees, that's for sure. Definitely gonna try and turn it into a bonsai. I've got a bunch of cuttings that hopefully will survive. Sumac is doing well. Buds turned red and started extending. These are some apricot cuttings that I put in here when I first took them. Three of them. That one looks okay still. This one actually has tons of buds forming everywhere on it. Those are a few dogwood cuttings over there I'm not holding out hope for. These are my pawpaw seedlings. They're all doing great. This one's really starting to pop out of the soil now. Everything is pretty much above ground, even the ones that I planted below the soil level. All these first ones, I think, were all below, well below. Now they're coming out, it's pretty cool. This one's really started moving. I had this one, the seed was sitting above ground though. So it hasn't had to fight through the soil at all, like the rest of them. Very happy with the progress on those. Eastern redbud tree, looking very cool this time of year. I think I got a video of it earlier when the buds had just come out. But I did prune this a while back. And then here's the big grapevine. These buds right at the end are starting to open up. That's great news. These ones are doing okay. Starting, oh yeah, there's a big one. Awesome. 
That up there is a whole mess. I haven't pruned up there yet. I did prune these bottom ones a bit though. That needs a lot of work, that cluster there. Quick little update here, I've been calling these mountain maples, but pretty sure they're mountain ash, actually. And I got, yeah, I've got another one of those actually, which is turning out to be this guy, which I've been calling a birch for some reason even though it didn't display any birch like qualities Just a quick little tour on May 1st. Weather's really warming up now. Candles on this pine are getting huge. These maples are busting out like crazy. Pretty sure I decided this was silver maple, the big one here. Which would make sense. I think the silver maple has really large leaves. And then the smaller ones are Norway maple. That one's really coming out. Some of these. Oak is looking real nice in there. This one, definitely mountain ash. The birches don't look so great. The spruce is really budding out like crazy. It's awesome to be able to pinch off some of these spruce tips soon, use them, eat them, make some tea with them probably. Two of these maples doing really, doing really well. This one, not doing so great for some reason. The big birch still has Two buds developing. Not much else going on. This is all looking really nice over here.
this is gonna be another another mountain ash pretty sure it's looking real nice been collecting a bunch of moss from between the cracks here just in the backyard very helpful resource area this one ended up being a river birch pretty certain about that this one this one here river birch are these maples doing well this birch has a bud coming out the bottom there but the top i think died off and this other smaller one looks pretty dead Pine, spruce, ready to burst soon. Still no action with the other acorn in there. The cedars haven't really started to green up yet, but last night was probably the last cold night we'll get for a, well, hopefully the last cold night this year anyways, till the fall. These are all doing well in here. I had them inside last night, just in case. This one's got something growing there. Cuttings still don't have roots. The apricot flowers are done. The petals have all blown off, but some of them still have some green in there. They're still hanging on, so I'm hoping hoping they were pollinated and we'll get some fruit this year. The leaves are starting to come out like crazy now. All the way up here. It's looking pretty cool. I still haven't started any air layers yet start one right there but let's probably do that fairly soon now that the weather's good sumac it's all starting to open up looking pretty cool tulips everywhere daffodils over there Pear tree is looking awesome back here. The one on the side of the house is even even better. It's nice seeing the leaves open up on everything. Even the butts on this persimmon tree, persimmon tree, are starting to bulge out. Lots of growth on the rows here. That's it for now. I'll just show this one too, all the bright green, fresh growth coming out of here. It looks really cool. Two different colors on the, the bush or the vine or whatever you want to call this. May 2nd today. Had a little bit of squirrel damage overnight. This was knocked off, but it was still up here. These two were knocked all the way down. This thing was tipped over, but still up here. So these are the two that I'm pretty sure were the least healthy anyways. It looks like this one might still be alive. Pretty sure that one's dead for sure. These ones might be okay. This one was still pretty well planted, so it should be okay.
spruce is going crazy with these buds opening up. I'm going to pick a few more off tomorrow, but for now I'm just going to try these two little guys in here. I don't need them growing as branches anyways. They're just small buds. I'll try them first and then do something else with the bigger ones tomorrow. the beautiful little oak that I had growing in with my big pot of maples got taken up by a squirrel or a mouse or something there's still some roots on there the, uh, the trunk there was a bit floppy this morning it's getting pretty hot hopefully I caught it on time I'm just going to put it in a little pot, see what happens, hopefully it lives. This is what it looks like, pretty interesting. The squirrels just got the, the part that provides the fertilizer the meat of the acorn. They left everything else. I guess this isn't desirable for them. There's no nutrients in there compared to the acorn. So hopefully we're still okay. Quince tree is looking awesome right about now. Got these pink flowers opening up everywhere. The yard looks fantastic. Grape leaves are opening up. Apricot, pear, apricot growing real nice, leafing out. The apricots have tons of fruit forming. This grapevine is doing amazing. It's pushed out over 10 centimeters of growth all over the place. There's a big cluster of apricots forming there. They're just everywhere on this tree. It's also formed a good almost 15 centimeters already of new branch growth. I did some major pruning to this tree. I left this big top because I was planning on air layering it. I might still be able to get to that but I'm actually leaving the country in about a week and I won't be back for a few months so I'm running out of time on that. Gonna have to do it soon. Pear tree here is all done flowering. Can't really tell if fruit are forming yet. That one fell off. The other apricot here, looking good. Also, lots of fruit forming. Persimmon tree out here hasn't flowered. 
I'm not sure if it will. Maybe we've got something forming, or those are just leaves. But that's been, it's been really slow to come out compared to everything else. I'm not sure I'll get fruit this year. The roses are looking great. Tons of growth. Yes, that's, that's all new growth. That's like probably 30 centimeters of new growth already just in the last month or so. Probably less. I always forget what this thing's called, but it's pushed out over 10 centimeters. Sometimes more. I got a new setup for all my potted trees, my future bonsai trees. Everything's in training right now. I like this setup. Hopefully it'll make it nice and easy for my wife to water everything. I just ask her to keep as much as she can alive. I'll figure it out when I get back in late August. We'll see what it looks like then. How many of these are still going. If these pawpaws ever come out of their seeds and burst some leaves. Which some of them look like they're getting pretty close. This one is lifted right off the ground, or off the soil. That one's pretty close. Put my big pine up there. Everything seems to be more or less adjusted to the to the harsh light. These are new. I had my my crown of thorns and my ficus, forget which kind, tiger bark ficus, I think. They were inside, so they got a little bit of leaf burn when I brought them out, but you can see there's, there's new stuff growing on that one. I had these in previous videos, maybe I'll put it all together eventually, but these two died off. I have, I have some more cuttings still inside on the window window so but anyways yeah some some leaf damage on the newer fresher ones that hadn't hardened off yet probably partially due to the cold i think they were out for one cold night and then it's just been sunny and warm our last chance of frost has passed that lemon leaf also got some bleaching or frost damage i think but then the new one that's come out all looks good. This is my sad little oak. The acorn I just filmed that the squirrels or mice or something took hold of this morning, last night sometime. My little willow leaf ficus, real small. That was just a cutting I got from my cousin. This spruce looks really cool right now with all its buds popping out. There's a whole lot of them growing there. I might thin them out and make some tea still. I haven't done that yet, but I did I did pull a couple small ones off that spruce and try them. Very citrusy. It was a nice kind of tart citrus flavor almost, so I think I'll definitely keep eating those ones. It's almost too late for them now, but this is my, one of my birches, it's doing really well. The other two, this one's doing okay. Just a small little nub, Ooh, there it is. This one might be cool one day, that's doing well. This one's got a little sucker coming out the bottom. If I can get the shadow out of the way. Yeah. Pine needles or pine candles are really extending. The needles are popping out soon. You can see the needles coming out of the candles really well there. Look how long those ones got. That'll be the leader on this tree. These mountain ashes are doing really cool. Doing really well. They're very cool. I like this 
That'll be my little clump style, I guess. Um, I don't think I've... I don't think I've seen any mountain ashes on any of the channels I watch. I'm not sure. But there's a couple more back there that are doing really well. They grow kind of like, you know, your normal ash with the, the long leaf stem, petiole, whatever it's called, with a bunch of leaf widths attached. My sick little dogwood here that was also an indoor tree. Not looking so hot, but it does have that sucker that's still alive. My only Japanese maple was green when it was inside. Took it out, it turned red. A couple leaves fell off, but there's a bud on top that's still looking okay. This little pine and this little pine I collected last October when I moved in. Kept them inside all winter. That idea. They, they started shooting out way early, like back in January or something, and then slowed down, and now I brought them out, and hopefully they can regulate themselves. I won't be keeping any more trees inside, that's for sure. This is where the squirrels stole the little oak from. Down there. Actually, it's... I do have another one growing in here I should probably protect. Maybe I'll put that Coke bottle back on it. I had the other one with the Coke bottle over it. I knew they were gonna take it at some point. Maybe I can just move these rocks so that they can't get to the... Can't get to the acorn should protect it somewhat decently. We'll see what happens there. These maples have extended like crazy already. Norway maples. That first node, you know, it's a bit long. Second node's pretty long. I haven't fertilized these at all. But, you know, there's lots of stuff in that soil down there. It's pretty active organic soil, so they're probably getting lots of nutrients. Silver maple hasn't extended as much. Nice small internodes there. Everything's looking good. I'll try some of these spruce tips maybe. Let's see. I don't need these ones all growing in this whirl here. I've already got two branches coming out that I want to keep growing. Actually, there's three coming out of there, so I'll probably chop one of the branches off eventually too. These are fine for now just to get some growth going. This one I can selectively take that. Down here, I've got two coming out and three, so I'll just take this one. Here. That's coming, we've got one, two, three. I don't need this one. Okay, that's probably it. I don't really wanna take any more off of this tree. I can take this third one here. Yep, that's it for now. Let this one get nice and fluffy. Let everything else grow out. The apex was getting really, really strong here. So it's okay that I took, took these. That's not too much. 
Let's go make some tea. Very soft taste, not very lemony. Kind of piney taste, pretty nice. Yeah, I've got just a couple of small pruning jobs to do right now. I'm not gonna do any major pruning until everything's shot out and hardened off. The new growth anyways. All these cuttings that were in water forever and now I put in here, the leaves started to wilt that were doing well, but I don't know, maybe it'll live. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll all live. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm not holding up too much hope for them anyways. So I've got, there's one living one. And this one was doing really well up until more recently. Don't know what happened. I mean, this whole thing is not doing so great. This was just a big dead stump that eventually grew this thing. Sucker. Now that that's died off, it's growing another sucker. So I don't know. Again, don't have much hope for this one, but I'm just going to leave it. Leave it in the sand that I originally planted in. First, I'm just going to see if everything is dead back here. Doesn't look like there's any green in there. But I don't really like having all this anyways, so... Let's chop it at least back to there. Yeah, that's that's all dead under there. There's no real real green. So it's safe to say I'm just going to go ahead and chop it all the way back. This one too. Something had chewed that anyways. So, let's leave this to grow and see what happens with the the sucker down there, at least one, maybe two. That's what I cut off of there today. The pine that's in there is definitely dead. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this in the shady area here. It doesn't get any or not much direct sunlight anyways. I've heard that birches prefer shade, so we'll do that. And these two birches that are in here, I'm pretty sure they're dead. I don't know, it looks green actually. Maybe birches open up later. Actually, look, there is a bud opening up there. That's cool. So, this one, I'm just gonna chop it back to here. This mountain ash is doing really well. There's a living living bud up there. I'll chop it back to just above that. And this is living until here. I'll chop it just there. These three are dead. I don't 
think that's a fresh bud. But I'm gonna leave it there anyways. It's nice and much more compact now. I can just stay under there and grow. Next up is the sumac over here. These are three cuttings from the apricot tree that I just stuck straight in the soil with the sumac. You might remember that this is actually in a big pot. I just buried the pot, covered it up with some dirt. The wife didn't want to look at the pot all summer, so that's what we did. So I'm just gonna prune back some of this dead stuff. Central one is dead. Oh yeah. Try to get a clean cut, but it's really spongy. It's just crushing. Hope that doesn't rot out everything, but there's a little bit of green showing up now. This thing looks pretty dead all the way back to the bottom there. So I'm just gonna chop it off here for now. Doesn't really look like there's any living tissue in there. Yeah, that's all died off. I'll find a new spot to hang the hang the tag. But that's it. That just gets rid of the messy spot. See how this tree heals from all that. It, it's got some earlier wounds that have healed kind of messily, so see what happens. Got the three main growing leaders. Tons of foliage on this thing. It's growing like crazy. One more chop I want to make right now is this black walnut. Pretty sure. It died back a long time ago, all the way down to there. You can see where it kind of goes from green to black. So I'm going to check here first. Oh yeah, that's just hollow. That's way dead. Try and cut back to some good wood here. I think this might be the first surviving node. Yeah, because that one's dead for sure. Let's chop it here, see what it looks like. Okay, yeah, that's alive there. So, I'm gonna leave it like that and see what sprouts up. Cool. This little birch I think might be dead, but we'll see if it springs back to life. All these other ones are doing great. This is really opening up now here. Sucker coming out. Right on. All the spruce tips are budding open like crazy. This one too. There's even some movement on the balsam fir. You can see those buds poking out. Needles really extending on the pine candles. Awesome. All my trees. We'll see what survives the next few months. Stay tuned.
Well, it seems like I have no shortage of oaks, actually. Little acorns sprouting. Looks like there's two of them in there. So I'll protect them with the other rocks. Something like that is hopefully enough to deter any squirrels. And it'll let them continue growing freely up there. And the other one is still protected.